The Francis L. Babe Cross 24 Memorial Award is presented to the Hobart Senior whose sportsmanship, leadership, and scholarship during his undergraduate career warrant the title Athlete of the Year. The award is given in memory of Bob, uh, Babe Krause, lacrosse American, captain of the football team, coach of Hobart lacrosse from 1925 to 1966, director of, of, sorry, director of athletics from 1932 to 1963, and charter member of the Hobart Hall of Fame. Many Hobart men benefited from his teaching, guidance, and friendship. This award has been endowed through the generosity, loyalty of Babe's sons, Joe, class of 49, John, class of 55, and his grandsons, Jim, 1974, Jerry, 1979, Joe, 1980, Jamie, 1980, and lastly, Bill. This recipient joined our program in the fall of 2018 as a first year from Columbia, Connecticut, and out of Kingswood Oxford School. He's blessed to have two unbelievable parents, Sarah and Peter Mashanik. They support him greatly and do a great job of organizing our parent gatherings. He is a double major here on our campus. He's been a recipient on Charter Day, countless academic awards. I am extremely proud of the work ethic and standard this person has set for our program during his time here. Every year he's come back to campus better and that's because every summer he's challenged himself like never before. That could be driving two plus hours to have pickup runs against pros, or some days even battling out in his driveway against his younger bros. To add some context here, during his first year, he had a combination of a lot of humility and adversity. Uh, his opportunities on the court were minimal, and I share that with all of you here because I know there's first years that maybe did not get their opportunity, but mind you, this is a young man that's coming up as a senior to get the Athlete of the Year Award, and I think accredited to that is that he stayed through all of these adversities and allowed it to fuel his career. Now as a sophomore, he came back to campus with his body and his mind transformed. Halfway through this season, he was inserted into the starting lineup and never looked back. In his first two starts, he was seven of eight from the floor with 17 points and 13 rebounds Friday night. Then he followed it up the next day by going 13 of 15 from the floor with 29 points and six rebounds. That season, he was our leading scorer, Liberty League first team, and a huge contributor on our program's first ever run to the Sweet 16. As a junior, he was a repeat all Liberty League first team along with many regional honors. This past summer, he represented Team USA on a tour of Brazil. That experience propelled him into having a historic senior year. This past season, he led our team in scoring at 21 and a half points per game and 10.4 rebounds per game. He was a Liberty League player of the year all Liberty League first team, D3 Hoops Region 3 Player of the Year, D3 Hoops third team All-American, NABC District 3 first team, NABC third team All-American, and also participated in the NABC Reese's All-Star Game in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He graduates with Hobart, a 12th on their all-time scoring list with 14, 000, sorry, 1,428 points, and he's also fifth on our all-time list with rebounding at 789 career rebounds. He holds the Hobart career record for three-point field goal percentage and the season record for field goal percentage in a, in a year. I'm a firm believer that he has a lot of basketball still ahead of him. He's currently training to try to go play professionally overseas. I can't say enough great things about this young man. Uh, as with great honor, I present this year's 2022-2023 Francis L. Babe Krause 24 Memorial Award to Jackson Mechanic. Good evening, everyone. I want to first take a minute to thank Hobart Athletics for putting on this event and for gathering us all here tonight to recognize all of the great athletes that we have at our school. It is a great honor to receive this award, and doing so in front of a group full of my friends and mentors makes this a very special night for me. I personally was able to have lots of individual success in my time here at Hobart, but a basketball player is only as good as his teammates allow him to be. And for this reason, I want to give a shout out to all my teammates, current and past, who have egolessly taken steps back and taken on roles that they might not have enjoyed in order to allow me to thrive individually. With that being said, I want to give a couple special shout outs to Pat Walker for being the best teammate possible. 
I've told Pat multiple times that if he were in a different situation or on a different team, he would most likely be the player of the year. But unfortunately, he had to deal with me taking about 900 shots every game. But he never complained once and taught me many lessons on how to be a great friend and teammate. To Andy, or Andrew Lynch, for waking up every morning at 6 a.m. with me to train and work out before class and listening to Lincoln Park every time we worked out, despite hating that band with a burning passion. To David, for being my best friend and biggest supporter, but also for keeping me humble every day by reminding me that I'm a bad passer and that I should kick the ball out more, especially to him. To Hannah Darji, our trainer, for all restraining all my ailments and putting up with me complaining about how much my body hurts, and especially for coming in every Sunday with Wegmans muffins before lift to have our weekly chop up. To my coaches, Steph, Ben, and Coach P, for not only teaching me how to, play, how to better play the game, but more, in teaching, more importantly, for teaching me how to become a better person. My parents, who drove me around nonstop for my entire career and who have been nothing short of the perfect example of how to support a young athlete. And lastly and most importantly, to my brothers Hunter and Carter who have, for fulfilling my lifelong dream of playing with my brothers and being the two most important people in my life. I've been through a lot in my four years as an athlete here, so I'd love to take a minute to reflect on some of the key lessons that I've learned as my time at Hobart comes to a close. My first lesson is that college sports have a special way of introducing you to your best friends. And it's been no different for me, as I've already mentioned how, excuse me, how much my fellow seniors mean to me. When we all graduate and go our separate ways, the thing that I will miss most is the time I got to spend with my teammates and coaches. So as our year ends and the seniors move on, I encourage all of us to put our phones, tablets, and computers away, get outside of our dorm rooms, and spend time with the teammates that we have worked tirelessly with over the past year. In my second lesson, I'm going to call on a couple, couple quotes. The first one is, you can't cheat the grind. It knows how hard you have worked, which is the catchphrase from one of my favorite NBA trainers. My second quote is, it goes quick, which is a commonly used term by my high school basketball coach. The message that I hope to tell with these quotes is that our time as college athlete goes behind the blink of an eye, and one of the worst feelings in the world is regret. In 10, 20, or 30 years, when we look back on our time as athletes, the last thing we want to think is that we should have spent more time preparing to be the best athletes that we could have been. Although I've had heartbreaking losses and rough spots in my athletic career, I will always know that I grinded every single day to be the best player possible, which is something that I'll be prideful for for the rest of my life. And I hope that every athlete in this room can have that same feeling when their time as an athlete comes to an end. Thank you again to Hobart Athletics for putting on this event, and I hope everyone has a great evening.